Hi Klondikers, I hope you will be fine and enjoying the recent update uh, that we have last Thursday. In this video actually I'm going to tell you some strategies that you can use to maximize your energy as much as you can. So we will start. So the first thing that you need to do is try to use all the energy that you have here. So it should be something like that or even, even below you can use even these two energy as well. Why? Because here, if you click on this Add Energy button, there will be this free energy option. So if it will be already empty, you will get complete refill. And if I click on this, it will say Apply. You click Yes, so you got complete energy refill. But if you already have some energy, let's say 20 or 30, it will refill up to 44. So it's add only up to, let's say, 10 or 14 energy, which is yeah, not very good. Uh, so for maximizing this thing, you just need to use all the energy first and just click on it. But now you cannot add any more energy to it. So then what you can do, uh, you can just decrease it to one down. And now you can go to your energy snacks. And what you can do, you can eat any maximum energy that you have. But I usually eat plus 50 or I usually eat, let's say, plus 100 as well because I have. So if you have 100, go for it. And then now you already have this 143 energy. And then the next thing is this this honey barrel. So I think if you have this option already on your land, that's I think a really great option that it's filled five times. So you need to collect five times this thing, but it's not a barrel. It will be like a small leaf like shape. So you have to collect it after a certain time. And when it is filled with five times then this symbol will appear on your land I think if you can zoom in so you can see here so it shows that it is completely filled now if you click on this thing it will add 44 energy to you so when you need to maximize your energy just go there and just click on it and now you see it started so after every five hours there will be one level here so after 25 hours it will be filled and then you can again collect this 44 energy so this is the second option and then there is one more interesting option that when you complete certain lands you got like a final building out of it when you complete it 100% or clean it 100% for example this is the building that I got it when I completed this beer fang land which is uh, one of the very last uh, permanent lands that we got so then this building came as a like a multi box so after every 24 hours when you click on it you get some nice resources but also you got some live energy so i'm going to click on it and then we will see so it's like 187 if i click on it and you can see it gives some clay grass coal some other useful stuff and here is some live energy and also some emeralds so that's nice so you see so it's around 150 so it also adds up so this is also a nice option so keep it in mind if you got something like this so you can keep it like this whenever you need it just click on it i think i also got this white tree i got it from melton wall mines so i think it was nine times and it's ten times so it's limited but at least you can use this energy at least ten times and here with this tree actually was uh, giving nine times like the limit was nine time and I was giving 500 dry tricks and then it was giving plus 15 energy which is not so much but it still adds up to your maximum limit so that's another option that you should keep it in mind that if you got a building by completing something keep it in, in reserve and then we will go to our next option which is by visiting this forgotten bay and then here if you go to this side of the area you will find some things here one is this barrels you can see three barrels I can find okay so there are three barrels available so whenever you will come there will be maximum five items here it can be either barrels or there will be seashells but seashells give you only one energy one live energy so whenever you come here just collect those seashells but leave the barrels here so that at the end when you will collect every time only seashells at the end you will have five barrels but this time you can see that it's only three barrels because i think i visited just before that and i collected two seashells so i think after some time 
there will be more items either seashells or barrels so what you can do just visit again and again and collect every time whenever you saw seashells but don't collect barrels so after some time you will see that you have only five barrels there and then you can wait and whenever you need to maximize your energy just come here and collect all your barrels so you can see it's 337 now we see how much energy it gives it also gives some other resources okay provisions as well uh, so it gives 20 energy so if you are having five barrels which means you will add up to plus 100 in your energy limit here so now i will collect these two as well so you have to keep it an eye and come back again and again here so when you find seashell just collect it when you find barrels leave it there so that at once you can collect all five okay this is the, you know, the strategy and the next one is is related to the level that when you reach certain experience points it goes to the next level uh, so for every level you will get some live energy increase so for some levels it's like normal you will get only plus 44 which is your maximum limit now but for some levels you need to keep an eye for example if you are going to achieve level 93 96 or 102 and so on there are many levels you will get usually 300 live energy so what you can do you keep an eye on this bar and when you are about to reach those levels you can already maximize this energy by using other approaches which i mentioned in this video and then when the level will increased this energy will add up to your maximum limit so that's another thing to keep it in mind that if you are approaching certain levels how much experience points you need maybe then you can exchange some uh, sets to get those experience points and then immediately you will go to your next level and that energy will be added to your maximum limit so that's another small trick and the uh, next one we can go to our main land and here I will explain you the next trick I think which most of the people uses which is actually by visiting your neighbors and clicking certain items there and then you get live energy there so I'm going to show you an example so let's say we go I usually go to the lower levels player because there you can easily find the things you're looking for so just to go to your very lower level players let's say I'm going to visit this neighbor so here you see there are different options so what you have to see here there are actually these uh, gray or black color shovels these are five so these are like free ones so for every neighbor when you visit you have these five free so these are free you don't have to do anything you just need to visit any of your neighbor and then you can dig any item five times this is the free one and then if you still want to dig at that location you can use these ones these golden shovels I will tell you later on that how you can make those shovels but then for each land you can use 300 shovels these golden shovels but it's not for you 300 it's like overall 300 someone if someone else already visited that place and they used let's say 250 shovels already golden shovels then you only have a, a, the limit of 50 more so when you will dig it to 50 more it will say that the limit is achieved then you have to go to the other neighbor or you can use even these special one these are the mega shovels but i would not recommend to use these ones because of where these are very difficult to get because either you need to buy it by using emeralds or you get it uh, by completing some quests so i would not recommend to use these ones so if it is already the limit is already reached of 300 shovels move to your another neighbor because i think you should have more neighbors so that's the trick first thing that i should tell you and the next thing that is important to know that which items should we dig so that we can get live energy yeah it is a bit a kind of hit and trial method but there are certain things which you can try but i would recommend just select one item and then just click it as long as you want don't try different items just pick one and then just keep digging keep digging for 300 shovels and what uh, which things i like the most is this one this tent and also this blue barrel or you can also dig this fence or this broken bridge or barn or any blue things that you found on the map so these are some options that you can try but it depends on the luck as well so i'm going to try if my luck works here let's see so i'm going to dig 
it is 10 first I will dig only 5 times so no energy no energy no energy no that's set no now I'm digging with golden shovels mm -hmm. okay okay now I got this one live energy okay two three four a free shower mm, it also gives you this blue stone as well which is quite nice to make that ring yeah, but you can now already understand that okay you need to dig it a lot to get some energy out of it but you can select any item that you like maybe this blue barrel or maybe these blue leaves or this broken bridge or anything you want i actually do not like this option too much because it takes a bit more time and then you have to do a lot of clicking and then you got not too much energy but still you got it because i think this is easier for lower level players because they can get these shovels and then they just need to visit the neighbors and just by clicking you can get some energy at least so i would recommend for lower level players i think this is the easier options but i usually do not recommend it because it takes so much time so it's up to you if you are a lower level or if you already have other options then you can maybe avoid it so now i will tell you how you can make those golden showers not these ones these golden showers which you can use 300 that also by the way keep it in mind that each day you have a limit of thousand shovels so on any land you cannot use more than thousand shovels so when you reached that limit you have to wait for next day and then you will uh, you will be able to use again these uh, thousand shovels or these golden shovels so keep it in mind this thing as well so now i will tell you how you can make those shovels there are two options actually by which you can get these golden shovels first one is these ones these lucky sets so when you exchange it you got this golden shovels plus some experience points so if you exchange 200 sets you will get thousand shovels which is enough for one day so this is first option and the second option is to use this golden lighthouse so if you go there there are two recipes by which you can make these golden shovels i would prefer this one because these cherries are a bit difficult to make so i would not prefer this one so you, i would recommend this one so these are the options by which you can make these golden showers and then you need to visit the neighbors clicking 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 and then you will increase your maximum energy here but you can click till thousand times per day so that was another option and now i will move to the next option the next option is actually quite useful and that is uh, when you are doing some lands either temporary land or permanent land or any kind of land and when you do some chopping you got a lot of items there on the land for example now i'm going to visit this temporary land that i was working on and i will show you that there will be a lot of resources lying on the land so what i'm going to do i'm going to collect some of these resources and i'm going to show you that which items can give you energy so i will just first mention which items you you should look for the first one is the dry twigs I think I should have some dry twigs here. Okay, do we have yeah here? So these are the first options that you should look for. So what you do, you let's say collect some dry twigs, and then we will move to our own place and we will see if we got some energy. So this is the first option that you can utilize. Okay, build my sled. And you go home. I downloaded, and you will see. I think I got some live energy out of it or not. So here it was four zero one. Okay, so I got almost plus thirty three energy out of it. So this is another option that you visit 
uh, some lands that you're working on it collect the resources and then you came back home and you got live energy the resources that you should look for is dry twigs maybe i can go again and i can show you some other options that you should look for so first one is dry twigs of course and the other one is this coal so when you click when you collect these coal pieces when you will unload it at your home place you will collect some energy but there are some other coal yeah, pieces as well which looks kind of a cylinder or hexagonal cylinder or pentagon I guess yeah so what you can see here when you will actually collect these pieces and unload it you will not get free energy and how you can avoid it I will just tell you maybe at the end of the video that how you should chop the coal stone so that you will not get this kind of thing but you will get this kind of stuff so coal is another option after dry twigs so here is some coal and these kind of golden chests or golden barrels this gives you a lot of energy so keep it in mind that you need to pick these ones as well and I think here I do not have iron because that's the another option that if you have iron iron pieces on your land just keep it for your energy resources because that would be great so here we do not have okay so these are the options and there is actually one more small trick for example if your land is going to close and you do not want to use this energy now what you can do you can collect let's say this dry twigs from here put it on your sled and also let's say this golden chest which you want to use later on you click on these things you collect this thing you collect this you collect these coal pieces and also Maybe some other thing out there. Yeah, dry trees, more dry trees. So if you pick actually everything that you think is going to give you energy, because maybe you don't want to use it now, but you are sure that you will need it later on. So there is a small trick that you can do. So just do that and don't go to your home place. So what you can do, go to your any other place that you think that where is where storage place is available let's say i can try here if we have a storage place here yes we have a storage place here so i put some trees and this stuff here so what i will do i will unload all these things here so you will see all those things will go into that storage so it is saved here it's not going to disappear from here forever so now I can go home and it will be saved so what you can do you can put all these things somewhere else like what I did I stored it it was that indigo I guess yes so I just stored all these things at indigo and whenever I need it I will go there pick all these things from the storage and then I'll come home and just unload from the sled and then I will get live energy whenever I need it so that's very useful so you need to use it wisely and then there is another option actually that you can use which is this golden palm trees first I will show you how much energy it will give you around the six plus 63 but I am going to show you so you click two times on this tree so first time is done we got some energy and then second time and then there will be a kind of a hide so you open it as well and you wait so there will be actually a lot of resources out of it a lot of resources and a lot of energy as well okay you see so it's quite a lot and also a lot of nice resources so it's actually quite nice option but now I will tell you how you can actually make it because making this thing is also a bit kind of expensive that actually you need this kind of stuff.
so you need tin plates and you also need a lot of energy for it tin plates wires boards and also uh, a very important thing is this piece of sun which is not easily available so you get it from i think most of the time from temporary lands or for some quests so it's not easy to find or it's impossible to make so you can use this option a lot but you still can make it and you have to use 140 energy for making one palm tree but the good thing is that you don't need this maximum energy for using that 140 energy you can just use your small energy snacks like plus one or plus three and then use that energy in making this thing and also if you remember at the start of the video i told you that you can use your energy first so you can use that energy in making these things here and then you can start making this thing or maximizing those energy because then these things will be used for making this palm tree so i'm not going to make a palm tree now because i already maximized my energy so i don't want to waste it now i will later on make one more palm tree again and then there is another option that when you put this kind of apple trees if you got apple trees especially from mazes you got a lot of apple trees so what you can do you can put apple trees on your land or anywhere you want and when those apple trees will turn golden like at the end of their harvesting or waterings then don't collect those golden trees because those golden trees also gives you plus one or plus two energy so what you can do you have a lot of golden trees then you maximize your energy and then you collect all those golden trees and if you have let's say 50 trees so you can get 50 or 100 energy instantly so that's another option to keep it in mind that you can also maximize energy there and the last option which is actually kind of my favorite is by using these if i go to here let me show you what is that so this is labyrinth secrets that you got it from mazes mazes is a temporary land that you got i think every few months and actually i love those temporary event because it gives a lot of resources and you don't have to take energy anywhere because it's taken from home storage so you just need to visit there and super nice and also it gives you actually not directly these labyrinth secrets but it gives you something like that so you collect these kind of trunks from the mazes and then you also purchase uh, these uh, workbench it's called workbench you can also purchase it from emeralds or you can purchase it from stones red or blue that you collect from the mazes and then you open these trunks by using those workbench and then it gives you this secrets or trials but these are actually very nice because I will show you just for one how much energy it gives and how much resources it gives so I just click on it it will use one energy so it's now 501 so it gives so one trayer gives you almost 15 energy and you can see how much I have so if you put like a lot of secrets on the land and then you collect it so you can really really increase your energy a lot so that's quite easy option if you have already these secrets or close trunks in the reserve when you do mazes and then you can keep it when you need it so when you need it to complete a land or when you have a lot of big things to chop then you can use these triers and then you can increase your energy till i think i remember when i used it once i increased my energy more than 2000 by using only these triers so that's actually very nice and very quick but you need it if you want to use it so you need to play mazes and then you keep digging it maybe when i will make a video on mazes then i will explain how you can find these trunks okay so these were kind of all the strategies that you can use to maximize your energy and now in the end i will just tell you what i mentioned before that how you should chop especially this coal stone so that you get energy out of it and not the other hexagonal kind of coal stone which don't give any energy so what you can do you come to a land for which you need to chop a lot of big items so first trick for the coal you can see here there are some big coal here let's say this is okay 100 
this is also 100 so what you can do here when you want to chop a coal do not use this combo option because when you will chop a coal stone in a combo which is a bigger stone higher than 40 energy then when you use a combo option it will provide you that hexagonal stone which don't give you any energy at all but what you can do don't use this thing and always chop by multiplication so you can click it let's say 20 or 30 and then stop it and wait so you will see so you see there is no that hexagonal hexagonal cold stone here because we didn't use that combo option and you can even again you can click like 20 times or 30 times but not more than that because otherwise then it will start giving that one i think 40 is the maximum limit because there are some coal with 40 energy requirement and when you click this combo option for those 40 it, it still didn't give you that stones but when i tried for 65 coal this combo option like 65 at a one time then it gives you that option so don't go beyond 40 because maybe that's the limit and beyond below 40 is fine that you can click 40 times or 30 times or 20 times and then actually it will not give you that thing so that was one trick and the other one is whenever you want to chop bigger items and you have this maximum energy here never use this combo option because when you will use this combo option let's say if it requires 120 so 120 will be removed from your maximum amount which is not good but what you can do just go there and reduce it to let's say if i click 40 times it will be reduced to 80 so i click 40 combo and i got this iron this is the iron that i was talking about when you collect this iron and you leave it at your home station you will get energy out of it and now it shows requires 80 energy why i leave it 80 because this energy i can also make by using this this raspberry chime so what i can do i can just fill it to 40 with any normal energy snack and then i will eat this 40 plus 40 rice pre charm and then it will make 80 so i don't need any special energy trick to chop it now or you can also reduce it to 90 instead of 80 but then you need to make your energy plus 40 here and then you have to use this blueberry pie which gives you plus 50 and then it will become 90 and then you can even chop it but i usually do not make this blueberry pie so i usually reduced every big chop till till 80 and then i use this raspberry chime to reduce it further or completely break it so now i did it again for another just to show you so that's how it works and i can also show you like for this clay it's 15 times so it will give you 80 and the thing that i mentioned that you need to chop not more than 40 is only applies to coal for iron for normal stone or for clay you can even chop plus 20 plus 100 or 120 at a time and it will not create any problem so uh, you just need to be careful with the coal so that's more or less all the tricks that i want to tell you and how you should do the chopping when you have maximized your energy so i think in this way you can do it as much as possible with this energy so if you if you find this video helpful please like it and share it with your friends and also please subscribe to my channel and also comment below on the video if you want to see uh, some other topics related to this game so thank you and have a nice day